What's going on YouTube? Justin here, back at it again with another shoe review. Today, we're going to be reviewing these DC high tops. I think these are the... They are called the Men's Manteca 4 Highs. See there, I don't know if you can see the label. I don't know if it'll come up clear on the phone. I am recording on my phone today instead of the GoPro because it's easier to edit off of. But without further ado, let's dive into the review. Enjoy. All right, guys, sitting in my old Miata seat here, we've got the DC shoes. Now, these are high top shoes, which is very nice for skateboarding, especially. I don't know a lot of skateboarders that wear a lot of high tops frequently, but if you like a high top shoe and you are a skateboarder, these are probably the ones for you if you like vulcanized shoes. These are vulcanized, um, but they are very thick volks, if that makes sense. They're not your normal vulcanized shoe, like your Vans would be, or your um, Nike SBs, and all that. These are slightly thicker. They come with a thinner insole, but I ride FP insoles. I found um, that they are more comfortable and help me last longer when it comes down to skating all day or whatever I'm doing. I don't skate all day anymore, but I skate longer sessions without feeling lethargic if I wear my FP insoles. Um, but we're gonna focus on these. I gotta say, I am fairly impressed with how long they have lasted me. They've still got plenty of tread. They really haven't worn down, to be honest with you. Um, they're just kind of narrow for me to skate. They are a bit more of a narrow shoe if you have very wide feet like I do. I have a wider foot than normal for my shoe size. I'm about a 10, 10 and a half usually, depending on what shoes I get. These are 10 and a halves. They fit me well in the toe box. It's, it's just the sides of the foot here. They're too narrow for me, so I am going to have to say I'm going to have to say that's a downside. But other than that, I will be giving these a 6 out of 10 only because of the fact that they were narrow. Would I recommend them to you guys? Yes. Um, there's not really much to go into detail, but they were very grippy. Um, really neat tread pattern. I think I've already shown you guys. Here's the other shoe. I haven't shown you guys the other shoe. I always shoe goo my shoes for extra measure. Um, the uh, leather fake leather is pretty sturdy and strong it did rip here um, like it normally does for me I have a um, wider board for um, compared to the average person I skate like an 85875 8, most do not skate those um, for flip tricks and whatnot or practicing things I guess I've observed a lot of people skate 825s and 838s and having a smaller shoe like I do doesn't really work well for a wider deck. They work great, but you know what I mean. Um, a lot of skaters that skate a wider deck could understand potentially or skate a normal deck really in general. Um, shoes get expensive because of grip, but uh, you need to have grip when you're doing tricks and practicing new things. Um, very stable, very stable shoe. I'm not a pronate or anything, so they didn't like do that or whatever, if that makes sense. They didn't wear out on one side or the other. Um, but like I said, enough yapping. I would recommend them to people who enjoy skating high tops or skate DCs or were even looking into these shoes and just wanted to see what others' thoughts were on them. Like I said, I know I've said this once or twice, I'm going to be giving these a 6 out of 10 only because of the width of them and the fact that they uh, did rip fairly quickly on that side. Other than that, I don't really complain because skate shoes are skate shoes. They're going to get destroyed anyway. But until next video, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.